ACT FAST is an acronym put out by the American Heart Association and adopted by stroke programs all over the country, encouraging people to recognize the symptoms of stroke and call 911 because time is brain. The acronym FAST stands for FACE, so you ask the individual to smile and if they have a symmetrical smile, that's a good thing. If the smile's crooked, that's not a good thing. Yeah, A stands for arms, so you ask them to hold their arms up in the air. And if they're not able to lift both arms or if one of the arms drifts down, that's not a good thing. And finally, S stands for speech, so you ask the person to repeat a sentence and if their speech is slurred or if they don't seem to understand you or if the words are nonsense, that's a bad thing. So you put those together, FAS, if one of, those pro one of those things is a problem, then T is for time and act fast. Call 911. Don't wait for the symptoms to go away. Don't try to diagnose yourself. The best thing to do is to go to the nearest emergency room and get treatment because time is brain. saying that the most important thing is to call 911 at the first signs of stroke. The faster you can get to the hospital, the more likely we are to be able to eliminate the stroke. People who, who wait for the stroke to go away or think that it might be something else, want to sleep it off, or wait for the family to come home and then take a drive in in the car, almost never get to the hospital in time to get the treatment that they need. And they end up with some of those permanent deficits that we were talking about. Another reason to call 911 is that our stroke program and treatment process actually happens, starts happening in the field. So our, our EMT personnel are trained to recognize the symptoms of stroke and will alert the hospital and the, and the stroke team that the stroke patient is on the way. And as our processes develop, we're actually learning that we can make the diagnosis in the field and sometimes may even be able to start the, stroke, the clot busting medication in the ambulance on the way to the hospital. So if you come by ambulance and you get here within say three to four and a half hours of, of be, since the onset of symptoms, there's a very high chance that we'll be able to give you a treatment that could reverse the effect of the stroke. So the first thing that happens when you get to the emergency room is we take you to the CAT scanner, take a picture of the brain, make sure we have the right diagnosis, and then give the clot busting medication. This is an IV drug called TPA, which sometimes will break up the clot and make the stroke go away. If the clot is, is sitting in a very large vessel that's, that feeds the brain, sometimes we'll take the person for a second level of treatment where a catheter is inserted through the groin up into the brain and we actually use a device to grab hold of the clot and pull it out. And it turns out there are a bunch of really important studies that were reported this year at the International Stroke Conference showing us that patients who receive that treatment have a much greater probability of a normal outcome. That means full recovery from their stroke within three months if we take that two-level two approach. At Wyoming Medical Center, we do this on a regular basis. We give the clot-busting medication and then we go straight back to the angio suite where the interventional radiologist and their team will put that catheter in there, grab the clot, and pull it out. Stroke care at Wyoming Medical Center is um, delivered by a team of medical experts. Uh, the team is led by a neurologist like myself, um, but also involves um, the, the nurses in the emergency room, uh, laboratory personnel, the folks who work in the CT scanner and the MRI scanners, the radiologists, the emergency room doctors, uh, the nurses who work on the floor, and most particularly the stroke coordinator who helps organize all of these activities, um, the physical and occupational therapists and the speech pathologists, and all of those individuals um, come together as a team to focus on the care of stroke patients. And in fact, we have representatives from all those, or all those parts of the hospital who meet together on a monthly basis to talk about what's working well in our stroke program and more importantly, what's not working well so that we can have a constant program of improvement.